I seriously think this is the most picturesque beach I've ever seen in my life. After a couple hours of driving and a couple hours of waiting, we are finally getting on to the ferry to Sardinia. It's actually the biggest boat I've ever been on. Hi guys, welcome to our room for the next eight hours. We have two separate beds. I didn't think we had our own bathroom. It's nothing like special, but I mean, it's pretty big for being on a ship. I'm stoked. I'm like, I'm so happy. We're all tucked in and ready for bed. We will see you guys in the morning. guys good morning i slept amazing you're gonna be taking the ferry more like a cruise ship to sardinia you need to pay the extra 50 to get a room been super worried about coming in october to sardinia and it being like really cold but right now it's actually quite pleasant and you know it's still early the sun's not even up so i think we're gonna luck out on having good weather and a great time here in sardinia One thing we've noticed since we've been here in Italy is that everything's actually pretty dog friendly. A lot of people have dogs here. Um, and they take their dogs everywhere. Like, I feel like if you were traveling Italy with your dog, you would be totally fine. Oh, beautiful. We made it off the boat, guys. We're gonna go hit some spots just straight off the bat. No time to waste. It's looking so beautiful over here. All right, guys, we've made it to our first stop on this journey. Definitely gonna want to add this spot to your itinerary in Italy. Incredible beach. I can only imagine on a hot sunny day getting that water. It would be even better, but definitely worth stopping here to check out. Our hotel is like a couple hours southeast of here. The island is super big, so we're gonna start cruising that way, make some stops at maybe some cafes and different beaches along the way. We'll see you guys at the next stop. I want to touch it. What do you find? A jellyfish. All right, we just busted out our two hour drive. We're at our second beach here in Sardinia. This is Porto Estana. The water is super blue here. Definitely a lot less windy. And it's got this really cool red rock that just complements the watercolor perfectly. Right now I'm working on trying to get warm enough to get the courage to get in the water. Coming from Hawaii, where it's like 90, it's definitely a bit different. Beautiful day though, look at this. This is so clear, like, honestly, even for Hawaii standard, this is like really nice water. It actually feels pretty refreshing. It's not as cold as I was expecting, so definitely gonna get in. Yeah, this is incredible. It's one of those things I'm just gonna have to send it. All right, here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's so cold. It doesn't get deep. All right. So cold. Okay, I gotta get out. So this is probably one of the prettiest beaches I've seen and that says a lot since we live in Hawaii. We were talking to a Swiss family who's here to visit and they said that here in the summer it's just like packed out. You can't find any spot on the beach to like hang out. You guys need to add this to your itinerary if you come to Sardinia. It's a must, like 10 out of 10. This is a beautiful beach, amazing. Okay guys, so we did try to go find some food. Unfortunately, we didn't know, but everything closes from three to seven. We decided to come to our hotel instead, and luckily they do have some food by the pool. We have a 
pool view in our hotel. We are so happy about that. We'll give you guys a little bit of a tour first. It's not much, but this is a great place. If you guys are staying in Sardinia, it was one of the more cheaper places. Okay, so just walking in, our door is right here. Our bathroom is nice and big. You have an indoor, or sorry, walk-in shower bidet, because of course you're in Europe. And then our room is just a queen and then a twin. And then of course the best part, we have our desk and then the pool view, which I love. Pool's looking so nice. Well, let's go grab some food and some cocktails and lounge by the pool. What a treat. Cheers, babe. All right, so we just finished driving about two and a half hours out to the west coast for this one spot that we we're super excited to share with you guys. And there's like no one here. A couple of the people showed up behind us, but I think we're gonna have this to ourselves for the most part. We got here about 10.30 and no one was actually here yet. I think it's only been like a half an hour later and it's packed. So make sure you guys come here early. This looks like such a fun place to swim in the summertime and the water is beautiful. It literally looks like we just landed on the moon. Like check this out. to refuel we stopped to get some smoothies and ice cream. Auto. okay guys we've just made it to our second location of the day arches it is beautiful over here again the water just looks crystal clear and blue we are just so shocked by the water here like I knew it was gonna be crystal clear but like I have never ever seen anything like this it's amazing guys this has to go down as one of my top three favorite beaches that I've ever been to That's delicious. Good morning guys. We are on our way to the Emerald Coast. This is the coast where a ton of celebrities live. They have houses down here as well as the Royals. But we are going to be taking a boat ride today. Guys, we have made it to our boat tour for today. We're gonna to be checking out La Madalena Archipelago. It's a bunch of beautiful islands off the north of Sardinia here. The weather's actually pretty nice today. The wind died out and it's feeling like pretty comfortable. I'm hoping that sun gets a little bit hotter and we get in the water here today, so. So the tour costs 90 euro. Um, it's a seven hour boat ride, like Walker said, to a bunch of different beaches. Um, and then they don't include lunch. You do have to pay for that, but we paid seven euro for pasta. We have just docked at our first stop. We will be here at this port until 11.30, which then we will go and see all the beaches afterwards. Yeah, just hit a little cafe or something, grab some coffee, and we'll see what else we see here. Yeah. Guys, just about five minutes walking and we found this cute little street. We're gonna stop to take some photos here. I just think it looks so cute.
All right, so we made a quick little stop to grab a cappuccino and croissant. This town is just so picture perfect Italy. Just teeny little streets, we're able to get some cool photos. And yeah, I'm just really shocked because I thought this was gonna be kind of a lame stop for our boat tour, but it's actually turning out to be a highlight of our trip so far, so. How perfect is this? Look at that, that's unreal. I literally cannot believe how perfect that beach is. And that's not even the better one. Look at this. <laughs> that's so blue. Guys, absolutely blown away. It's literally breathtaking. Like, I don't think either of us have ever seen anything like this. Yeah, just this so is happy. perfection. I couldn't be any happier, honestly. All right, guys, here goes nothing. It's still pretty chilly, but we're gonna send it in the water. Clearest water we've ever seen. We have to get in. So perfect guys, actually not that cold. Wow you guys, we just can't get over this spot. It is so incredible, but what we're gonna do is head over to the other side because there is another beach and we only have an hour left. This we is just like didn't not, wanna leave this spot. Yeah, this spot. isn't even the beach. Like our boat just docked over there and we saw us when we got off we're like, oh my God. It's probably even cooler over there because no one else stopped, so. Literally, are you kidding me? Like, what? <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I have like the biggest smile on my face right now. This is so insane and beautiful. Alright guys, so I just climbed up on this little hill right here. And I seriously think I got some of the best photos I've ever taken. Let's see over on this rock here. The blue water and then these incredibly large mountains behind it. And made inc like, I am like so happy about these photos that we just got here. I'm gonna continue climbing up to the top and let's go check out the view. Guys, this seriously might be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Look at this. It's insane. I cannot believe this exists on Earth. Like, how beautiful is that view? There's hardly anyone here. I cannot believe this. What do you think? Is this place crazy or what? I was just like, oh my god, the water, like, I cannot get over it. Dude, look at this little, like, cave here. It's the perfect spot to go in. Guys, we are so sad to be leaving this beach, but excited to see what the other beaches are all about. I still just cannot believe this water clarity. Look at this. And the sun's not even out right now. I would say we're buying a house here on this island. <laughs> Which we totally can't do, but... Yeah, no, we can't. It's a national park, you guys. Definitely can't drone here. The most you could do is take photos. Um, but Can regardless, I live under that rock? it's just so fucking beautiful. I want to live under that rock. Yeah, you can live under that rock for sure. Sweet, well, maybe we should just run away and go live in these hills. <laughs> All right, so I got the goods. Let's see if I can pronounce it. Ichnusa. 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 The H is silent. Cheers. Yeah, this is a uh, Sardinia beer. It's actually really good. Yeah, Sierra liked it, which is... I did, which is rare, because yeah. I really don't like beer. Cheers. Lunch, <laughs> <laughs> okay guys we have made it to our next spot um the water is still just as beautiful the beach is a like little bit even clearer if it was possible. We made a quick little pit stop to jump in the water. We met with some friends from France. They jumped in with us. 
yeah, look how pretty this is just right here where we got dropped off. Well guys, it's getting pretty cold now. The clouds have definitely moved in. I think this is it for this boat tour, yeah? For today, yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, we had so much fun today. Like, we didn't anticipate that it would be this cool. No, I really didn't. Tomorrow's plans are going to be insane, and I have high expectations for that. But today, like Sierra said, really was not expecting much at all, especially for honestly the little amount of money we spent. It was such a good deal. You guys are definitely, we say this about everything here, but you definitely have to check this one out. Definitely. All right guys, so I just made it to this beautiful lighthouse. I'm so bummed CR didn't come. Should have made a great model walking out to the lighthouse down there, but I mean, I am more than happy with these photos I'm getting here. This is incredible. Check it out. Sierra just came up with that. Today is pretty much the day that we came to Sardinia for. Like, you guys will see the views are gonna be unreal. So we're making a quick stop at a supermarket, which we haven't been into yet. So this has been super fun experience to just see all the different types of foods and drinks that, you know, typical Italians consume. We just arrived at the pier. We're gonna be renting out our own little boat today. I'm super stoked. We're gonna be driving this thing around. We're gonna be checking out some incredible beaches. And also friends we met yesterday are going to be joining us, which will add to this whole experience too. So super stoked and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay guys, we are just about to load onto the boat. We have our friends with us today, Elsa and Raphael. At least the waves aren't like Hawaii here, so it should be okay. Ciao. Captain Walker. <laughs> Alright, here goes nothing, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Just take it really slow here. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, should we open her up? Yeah. Hey guys, we have just arrived to our first location of the day. Cala Gorice. Cala Gorice. <laughs> it took us about an hour and 15 minutes or so to get here. This is the furthest point that we're allowed to boat. Um, it's pretty wavy compared to normal. Uh, they actually canceled us a couple days before, so um, getting our camera to the beach and stuff I don't think is really a possibility, unfortunately. Kind of a bummer, but we'll get creative and get some cool shots for you guys. Walker just took a shit off the boat and there's literally snorkelers right there. Alright guys, we made it to the second beach. This one's super pretty. There's like a little kind of beach that comes out and a little peninsula. It is so beautiful here. Like I just feel so lucky to be able to do this. Threw the drone up for a second and actually got some pretty good footage and stuff but uh landing it on a boat is like so difficult i've heard a lot of people talking about how hard it is um but yeah that took me a good like five minutes of just stressing all right well our anchor is officially stuck <laughs> and we've tried all of our muscle on the ship and we cannot get it budged so we might just have to leave it here 
but if we do that we have to pay 60 euros and we're gonna try our best to get it out see if that works if not then doesn't look like we're gonna have any way to get it out which is super unfortunate not budging <laughs> what's up guys we just finished up on the boat we had such a great time unfortunately like we were showing you guys we lost the anchor but it's okay it was 60 euro we just had to pay that fee and everything was all good yeah it sounds like today she was saying that this morning the conditions looked fine and I guess just progressively throughout the day they got worse mm -hmm. uh, so makes me feel a little bit better that this is like not the normal thing um, and she said also during like in the summertime they have skippers down there that actually like retrieve your anchors if they do get stuck but because it is like low season uh, they didn't have anyone there to, to help us we didn't have a mask so there's just like nothing we could really do we, we tried so hard to get it so it's only 60 euro and the whole thing together came out to like what was it it was like 200? Yeah, it was around like 200 euros total for everything. We'll put the price up on the screen. It wasn't too bad, honestly, for riding a boat. But it was really fun riding, driving a boat. I had a ton of ton of fun. I learned how to do it. I feel like uh, that good was experience. all the yeah, all the experience you needed to be like, I want a boat now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Raphael and Elsa, Elsa are at their car putting stuff away, and then we're gonna go grab some food. And tonight we're taking a ferry, going back to mainland Italy. So be the end of our Sardinia adventures. I want to get panna cotta. Good choice. Hope you guys enjoyed our little Sardinia video. I hope it was entertaining and helps you guys on planning your next trip here. Huge fan. Highly recommend coming here. It's awesome. And we are off to Tuscany and the rest of Italy, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we'll be sleeping in our extremely luxurious, comfy room on a ship. <laughs> See you guys in the, in the next, next one. one.